So it doesn't seem as though you should wait in your room at home until you are empowered in the sense of feeling overwhelmingly powerful before you accept some call to go or to witness. The muzzle gets hot when it's fired. Have we become more concerned with our comfort than the souls of people? If so, we need to ask God to change our hearts. There are whole nations, whole people groups who couldn't make the first step in that direction because there's no news yet that Christ has come. You can't bless this Lord with authenticity and not care about that. No way. This Christ who came for the nations and for the world, you cannot count him as Lord of your life and not carry that in your heart. Do you have any idea, any idea, the decimation? In other words, this is not an either or thing. You will live with a deep sickness in your soul if you try to make much of Jesus and not do anything for the nations who haven't heard. You were made to embrace the nations. You were made to declare His glory in one way or the other, to care about this, to carry this in your heart. When you open your mouth to bear witness, the Holy Spirit having come upon you in this extraordinary way, doubts are vanished. You know that you know that you know what you're talking about when you talk about Jesus Christ. All the uncertainty that might have been there before, gone. And you're looking right at people and you know that it's true. He died, He rose, He reigns, He's coming. Repent and you will be with us in glory. You know it's true, it comes out with authoritative, humble conviction. I got a real good question today. May I ask you a question? If you died today. If we were all to die today. If you were to die today. And you stood before God Himself. And you stand before Jesus. Y van delante de la presencia de Dios. And face God. And behind Him was the gates of heaven. There's the gates of heaven, and they're right behind Him. He said, why should I let you in? Why should I let you in? Would he allow you to come into heaven? Where do you think you'd go, heaven or hell? What would your answer to God be? He's not going to ask us why we deserve to go in. And that there is nothing that we can do. No matter the good things that we do on the earth or the bad things. Good works are not going to get us into heaven. When God sees our sin, we look disgusting to him. We're nasty. He's going to look and see if Jesus' blood has washed our sins away. And the only way to have your sins forgiven is to accept the free gift of grace that Jesus died on the cross. For you are saved by grace through faith. And this is not from yourself. It is God's gift. The Bible says, All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. In Romanos 3, 23, he says, And without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. God gave His perfect gift to us. When God sent His Son Jesus, He's offering you His perfect Son. And that's why Jesus came and shed His blood. And He died on the cross for us. And He rose from the dead. He gave Jesus Christ His only Son to die for us when we were still sinners. But because of Jesus, Pero por tu hijo Jesús. Hear mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. For it's with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it's with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Do you believe that? ¿Tú crees eso? When you when you receive Christ, all your sins are forgiven. God will give you forgiveness. When we receive him as our Lord and Savior, we receive that righteousness as a gift then you'll go to heaven because he forgives you. You become a new creature. You're not going to live perfect. 
¿Por qué, me, por, ¿por qué ahora la, la menospreció? Así ustedes estarán donde yo esté. Que el amor de Dios siempre va a estar ahí para ustedes. Jesús sends the Holy Spirit to live inside of you. And when you receive Christ, he, he cleans you from your sins. And he starts showing you the walk or how to walk step by, by step. Would you like to know that if you died today, Franklin, because every one of us is going to die, he will show this day again of us offering this gift, that this gift will now be yours. And the only way to heaven is through trusting in Jesus Christ. I want to invite you today to receive Christ as your personal Savior and confess it in public and say, I will receive the Lord tonight to accept Christ into your heart. Yes, that would be good. Yeah. He said, sure, sure. And the little girl got saved. There's another one. Yeah. Is that? She said yes. Ah. Oh, they all accept you, Christ. Yeah, we had like neighbors that were passing by and they just heard that it was God's word and guess what, they just stayed there and they got saved. <laughs> That's amazing. Lord Jesus, Señor Jesús, I know that I am a sinner. And I am in need of a Savior. Y que necesito un salvador. Y que necesito un salvador. Forgive me of my sins. Perdona mi pecado. I believe that you sent your son Jesus to be my savior. Yo creo que enviaste a tu hijo. Yo creo que enviaste a tu hijo. Jesús, Jesús. Para ser mi salvador. Para ser mi salvador. I ask you to come into my life. Te pido que vengas a mi vida. Te pido que vengas a mi vida. I ask you to come into my heart. Te pido que vengas. Te pido que vengas. A mi corazón. A mi corazón. Come into my life. Ven a mi vida. I welcome you into my heart today, Jesus. Te doy, Jesús. Te doy, Jesús. La bienvenida a ti, a mi corazón. La bienvenida a ti, a mi corazón. And save me. And be the Lord and Savior of my life. And I accept your son, Jesus Christ. Y acepto a tu hijo, Jesucristo. Y acepto a tu hijo, Jesucristo. As the Savior of my life. Como el Salvador de mi vida. Como el Salvador de mi vida. Make me a new person. And from this day forward, y desde este día en adelante, help me to live for you. Ayúdame a vivir. To live a life that Para blesses you. And make me a new creation. Y hazme una nueva creación. No, you would live day to day in life with them. I thank you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. For saving my soul. Por salvar mi alma. In Jesus' name. You know, when you're a Christian here, buddy, it's not just a Sunday yeah. thing. It's a, it's a it's a lifestyle. It's a choice that you make to follow Christ. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I've seen him do a lot of things, but that he showed out right there. <laughs> Adiós. Adiós.